evening and welcome to our prayer and praise worship service. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit gather us now to sing, to pray, to hear your word. Gracious Lord, you are the God of mercy. And in the mystery of your passion, you offer undying, infinite life to the world. Gather us around the cross of Christ. Preserve us until the day of resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Word 
of the Lord I'd like to share with you tonight is from the 50th chapter of Isaiah. These verses share with us the mission statement of the steward, servant of God. Jesus Christ, of course, being the fulfillment of being a servant of God's will. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. How many times in our Gospels do we hear that Jesus speaks the word that gives life, comfort, help, healing, renewal? First, he listens, then he gives. First, the disciples follow Jesus. Then they were made able to give those words that bring comfort as apostles. That I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning, he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. And that's the end of verse 4, the 50th chapter of Isaiah. First, the mission statement of the steward, the servant of God's will, is to be taught, teachable, listening. You wake us up today, dear Lord. You give us life this very day, this very night. May we be teachable to your word, by your word. Verse 5, the Lord God has opened my ear. And I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. Not my will be done. Your will be done, Lord. Reveal to me your will. Open my ears and close my mouth that I may, in this mission statement living, reveal your way. Verse 6. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. And I know that I shall not be put to shame. Ezekiel chapter 3 Sets his face like flint his forehead like flint, that we would be uncompromising, unyielding, unapologetic. The Lord God is the one who helps in the midst of the disgraces, in the midst of being spat upon and disrespected. Who more than the servant? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was treated this way with contempt, and yet he set his face, his direction was before him as the servant, as the steward of God's will. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is it that is your adversary? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. Romans 8, who will stand against God's elect? Who is it that is strong enough to separate us from the will of God? If the Lord has set in motion for us to live as servants of his will, then there's nothing, there's no one, there's no experience that can come between us and our Savior. Job experienced so many insults. And yet he hung firm. He said, I am a child of God. I believe in God. Lord, breathe into us that unshakable belief as your steward servants of your will being done. When it's a good day and things are going well, and when it's downright contentious, and so many foes are against us, you are the one who helps me. It says in verse 7 and in verse 9, you are the one who helps us. We thank you, Lord, and we sing your praises that your help 
is in the flesh. So real, so true. Amen. Gracious Lord, we thank you for your steadfast love that nourishes us, surrounds us, and sustains us. May your word embolden us in our mission as steward servants. You are loving, Lord. You are steadfast in your love, and it will not be shaken or taken. Open to us the ways of sharing in this embrace of life today and tomorrow. And all our days, 
until you return in the resurrection. Gracious Lord, in the midst of arguing, murmuring, murmuring, embrace us with a love and grace that endures. May we not be distracted from the agenda set before us through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Make us disciples. We surrender to your leadership, to your words that fill our ears, to the meaning and value of our living in this mission set before us. You make room in us as a God of grace that we can wait and depend and believe in what you make new here and now. May you take away the gloom, take away the doubt. Gracious Lord, have mercy and renew in us a vigor a spirit of discernment that will not waver as we anticipate, as we look forward to your kingdom coming. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you this peace. Good night.